Hey guys, so I know I haven't posted a video on my channel in a long time. I have just kind of been stuck for ideas and just didn't really have anything I wanted to post. But I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but I still had to wait until everything was kind of fully done. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is my um, coming out story. I guess, because I've seen YouTubers do these videos, and I thought it would be kind of fun. So, um, I knew that I was, the hardest part for me was coming out to myself, and, um, <laughs> realizing that, um, I was valid, and it was a thing, and, um, that I could accept it. So, um, probably about a year and a half ago, I thought, hey, maybe I'm not straight, and then I kind of pushed it away until the summer, like, before the start of this school year. I, like, developed very strong feelings for one of my online friends who was a girl, so, and I had kind of self-evaluated myself for a while and realized that, yeah, I was not straight. And the biggest problem for me for a while was um, discovering what label I was. So I didn't quite feel comfortable in the label bisexual. So I continued to read up, I guess, and found the label pansexual. And that was the most comfortable thing for me to identify as. If you don't know what pansexual is, um, that pretty much means that someone's gender plays no role in my feelings or emotions for them. So like I love, or yeah, love someone like regardless of gender or gender expression or anything like that. Um, so, by the way, this video is probably going to be pretty long, but so once I finally realized what label I was, I still hadn't told anyone. And I'm going to give the girl, yeah, so I'm going to give everyone in this story, like, fake names, just in case they don't want their name mentioned. So, my online friend that I had developed feelings for, we'll call her Charlie, so that was her. And I knew that, like, I had to tell her eventually that I had feelings for her because, like, it seemed like she liked me and I knew she wasn't straight. So... She wasn't the first person I told. I told um, my best friend, we'll call her, whatever, I'm just going to keep her name. Um, I told my best friend Chloe, and because she's not straight, so I figured I could trust her. I told her, um, I pretty much said, hey, like I think I might be bisexual. And then she accepted me or whatever, and then like later I discovered that I was pansexual, not bisexual. But that didn't matter. So then I told Charlie, the girl, and she said that she had had feelings for me too, and like we had got together. But that's not the point. So I told her, and I told my best friend Chloe at this point. And then um, after me and Charlie started dating, literally the next day, I was like, okay, well, like I have a girlfriend. I can't hide this from my parents. So we were driving home from a family, like a family house, my grandma's house. And I had just kind of taken my headphones out, and I was like, hey, like, I'm bisexual. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty easy, honestly. And then I just told them that I had a girlfriend, and they had already known about Charlie and, like, how close we were. So I don't think it was really much of a surprise to them, but they just said that they supported me through everything, and that if I was happy, then that's all that mattered. And I think that they were a bit on the fence in the beginning, because, like, I don't know. But I never got any of like the, oh, it's just a phase comments, which like I'm really happy about. Because I feel like that, like, I feel so bad for people who get like, oh, it's just a phase. Because like that, that must feel so like invalidating, like your, yourself. So then for the next little while, uh, I didn't tell really anyone because I was too scared because I go to a Catholic school. So like people's opinions and stuff like religious opinions, whatever. So I didn't tell anyone for a long time. And then um, me and Charlie had broke up. And 
there had been like a couple other girls that I had liked. So then like I told them because they had asked me if I was straight. So I told like two other girls and then I told my one friend by accident because I let it slip about Charlie and then like she knew but she didn't go to my school so I didn't really worry about that. And then after that, I decided I need to tell my closest friend at school. So I um, will call her Catherine. So I knew I had to tell Catherine. So basically, I called her on the phone, and she was like, "Man, you seemed like really upset tonight. Like, what's wrong? Like, what's going on?" And all I said was, "Me and Charlie broke up." she she knew like who she was so she was like what charlie you dated and then she asked me if i was like a lesbian and i said no and then she asked me if i was bisexual and i said no then i explained pansexual and i like cried on the phone and like i told her that she couldn't tell anyone and like i was so nervous because she goes to my school so then that was fine like she was totally accepting she was like yeah like whatever and then um my anxiety started getting a lot worse, having to like hide myself constantly, and like a lot of relationships of mine didn't work out well because she or they did not like the fact that I was in the closet still. So, like, I had to do something, and I was getting really anxious about it and everything. So, I just the other day, I took three of my other closest friends. Um, I took them to this like the back part of our schoolyard and I pretty much just said um there's been something I've been hiding from you guys I like girls and I like guys and then I explained pansexual and the whole like gender doesn't really matter to me and everything and two of them actually already knew they were like yeah like we could kind of tell like the way you were acting with this girl who I'm not going to mention her name but the way we were acting with her, like, we kind of figured and we kind of knew this is what it was going to be about, but, like, yeah. So, they were fine with it, and, like, my three friends were fine with it, and they were like, yeah, like, we would never leave your side over something like that, like, we support you completely. And then, after they knew, honestly, it was, like, the biggest weight was lifted off my shoulders, and I felt like I could tell, like, anyone. So, I updated my cover photo on Facebook, and it pretty much just said let's get one thing straight, I'm not, and then it has like the pan flag in the background, and then it, um, actually I'll get it right now, my caption, just says, so extremely happy to be out, yes, I'm pansexual, and I'm proud of who I am, hashtag pan pride, and honestly, like family has seen it people on facebook my friends everyone and all i got was support like i didn't have one person leave my side from this yet and i'm not exactly sure who from my family has seen it like as in relatives that aren't my parents but i'm not really worried and yeah i guess i had a pretty easy coming out i guess it wasn't something like tragic that i had to worry about or like people were extremely rude about it they were just kind of like okay like we still love you like it's it's not a big deal my advice to anyone who's going to come out is make sure you have like a safe place to go because i know there is a lot of people that do get kicked out or do have their parents like shun them so like make sure you have a safe support system and people who support you and like a place to go and don't let anyone pressure you into doing something you don't want to do if you don't think you're ready to come out like, don't come out, but if you are, honestly, it is one of the best feelings ever to not be in the closet, I guess. I gestured to my closet. But, um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I'm sorry, it's like almost 10 minutes long, but I should be posting more regularly now, so look forward to that.